Hi everyone, Blessed Bee. I'm going to show you how to make a self-love ball and this is for if you need to think more positively, positively about yourself, if you wish to feel happier about yourself. Um, I think we could all do with a bit of self-love um, boosting. So first of all I'm going to take some rose incense because rose is associated with love. And I'm going to use that to cleanse the bowl that I'm going to use. Um, this altar plate is one that I got off um, Amazon, if you're wondering where I got it from. Um, I like it because it has the Wheel of the Year on it. And I've got it with my bone at the top at the moment. So I'm using the rose incense to bring self-love to me, to bring caring and nurturing thoughts to myself to bring positive feelings about myself and just to aid in my positive thinking about myself and my thoughts. Here I just popped off to get some ingredients that I forgot to get out of my cupboard. So First of all, as a base for this, I want some pink salt. Uh, pink salt is also associated with love workings, uh, self-love workings, and it's nice as a sort of protective energy as well, but it's like quite gentle, I find. Um, so it's just a nice one to use for love workings and things like that. So now my bowl is fully cleansed and while I'm thinking about my intention I'm going to get out my pink salt. This is a bag of um, pink crystal salt. Excuse the lighting, I'm, I'm having some trouble with my camera at the moment but um, I'm using this. Um, it's like a finer version of pink salt instead of it being quite the coarse um, grains of it. I'm going to pour that into the base. Don't need loads of it. Um, just enough to about what? About an inch deep or half an inch deep. Deep enough to support the weight of a candle, basically. Just to make sure my candle's not going to fall over later. And obviously to add that positive, cleansing, loving energy into my working. I'm just giving the bowl a bit of a shake to even it out and getting rid of any lumps. Then I've got these like, they're like little really like micro um, glass bead things. It's like a decorative thing that you can use. You can put it inside jars that you're going to have candles in and then put the candle on top. Um, and they're a lovely sort of lilac -y colour, which is my favourite colour. So I added that to the bowl to make it look pretty and also I want to sort of feel more positive about how I look and stuff so adding things that make me feel pretty and girly are useful in this working. Then I'm adding some lavender, lavender is great for love workings and I put lavender in pretty much everything because lavender is one of my favourite herbs. Then I'm holding my hands over my bowl and I'm just speaking out my intention and what I want to achieve from this working and the ingredients I've just put into the bowl. You can say anything that you feel comes to mind um, as long as it's to do with your intention. I didn't film like record the sound on that part because that was like personal to me um, so I wanted to keep that private. But you can work out what you want to say. You can say anything that you feel you need to say. Then I'm adding some rose petals. I've got some lovely sort of deep fuchsia pink ones um, in this jar that I'm using. Um, rose petals again are great for love workings and the pink one, pinky red ones are especially great for love workings, self-love, um, anything like that. 
and I'm making a ring of those around. So it's like I'm performing, and it's like I'm forming a sort of protective ring around myself of positive thoughts and feelings about myself. That's what the sort of ring of petals represents. Like I'm not going to allow negative thoughts about myself into my mind, into my heart. So the ring of little roses is like a sort of barrier that will just surround myself with love. Then I have my candle and I'm just holding that in my hands and speaking my intention into the candle and thinking of all the positive thoughts that and feelings that I will feel. And I'm gonna use the salt to hold my candle up. Ignore the little beads rolling on my table. My bracelet broke, so I've been, uh, I've got beads everywhere. <laughs> I didn't realise they were on camera, never mind. So as that sits in the bowl, I'm just gathering up anything else that I feel I need to include into the working and just making sure that I have everything that I want to include. At this point, I'm just digging in my crystals to get the uh, crystal chips that I want for this working. You can use rose quartz, you can use clear quartz to amplify the working. You can use any um, crystal that you feel um, works well with love workings. I've used uh, clear quartz here or sort of milky quartz um, because quartz will amplify anything if it's like a milky or white one or clear one. Because um, I didn't have enough of the pink ones that I wanted to use. Um, you could also use amethyst. Amethyst is great for self-love workings as well. So I added a ring of that around my candle as well. Again, it's that sort of protective, loving energy, creating like a circle, creating like a barrier around myself to protect my thoughts and feelings about myself. Then I always feel that it's important to add something to protect the working. So to protect against any sort of negative thoughts or negative things from anyone else that could affect um, my self-love working um, and one of the main herbs that I always use in any sort of protection working or to protect a working that I'm doing is rosemary so what I'm going to do is create an inner ring inside the protective crystal ring with rosemary around the candle just to make sure this working is protected. And I'm basically, I'm just placing this where I think, where I feel it needs to go. Um, this is what I f where I felt it needed to go. So this is where I put it in my bowl. And I kind of like the sort of concentric rings type of thing. So it's like loads of layers of sort of positive protection for my thoughts and feelings of myself and energy. So think of each ring as like another layer of protection. And obviously I've used a pink candle because again, pink is great for workings to do with love and self-love. And I also wanted to add to this a little bit of calming energy um, just to calm any th my thoughts and help them to remain positive. So I've added some chamomile, which is very calming. Um, I like to add cal um, calming elements to a lot of my workings and chamomile is another herb that I use a lot of. And again, I'm just sprinkling that around in a circle around my candle with the um, rose petals. Now the idea of this working is not so you become like a big head and think you're the best thing since life's bread this is just to get you to think more positively about yourself and not allow other people or other energies to negatively influence how you feel and think about yourself and then i'm going to light my candle 
And as I lit, lit the candle, I'm thinking about my intention. And as I look at the uh, flame, I'm feeling the positive, warm feelings about myself and the positive energy that this working is going to give to me um, and is giving me. And any time that I feel I need a boost of self-love and to think positively, positively about myself, I will light a candle, I light a pink candle in this. Um, you can leave the candle to burn down completely um, and then if you feel that this working is done, you can remove, like, throw away the ingredients. Me personally, I will keep this bowl and I will just replace the candle. As the candle runs down, I'll put a new candle in and then I'd say ref just refresh it when you feel it's getting a bit stale, when you feel that it's not quite giving you what it did before. Like If it's not quite giving you that little boost of sort of self-love and confidence, then redo the working completely, throw out the ingredients and redo the working. Um, for me, I'll keep this going for quite a long time and I'll just keep replenishing the candle um, so yeah, that's how to do a self-love bowl to give yourself positive thoughts and feelings about yourself and to protect your energy from any negative, th any negativity that may make you feel negative about yourself. Um, so yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Um, also an indication if you're spell is being successful as well is if you've got a nice steady, strong flame you can pretty much guarantee that the uh, spell will be successful. Um, so that's it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Blessed be. Bye for now.